Let's get it, man. Damn, that thing rolled in there. God damn. <laughs> man, I almost feel like it. Yeah. Um, question. Give me those. Yeah, it's definitely a slower pace. I definitely see what people are saying about that part, at least. I actually think this game is faster. Shut up! I am back! Sir, don't they? Oh, me and Lee was right next to each other, but it don't matter. It doesn't like that. Me, 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 me. Let's get it. Come on, let's go. He's fast as hell. Great shot, boy. Shut him back! Slow as the boots. Might have missed. <laughs> that ass. <laughs> the board. Come on, man. There we go. I got it. Oh, you go, you go, you go. You gotta get there, my boy. You gotta get there, my boy. Come on. Thing. End it. Get out the basket. Let's go! Come on! on. <laughs> Jojo weird. from the TikTok stream. Freeboard. Psych. <laughs> Psych. Yeah. <laughs> Three of them. Anton. Yo. Yeah. Yo, I tried to pass on there, yeah. Come on, I got y'all, man. I'm the one! It's an average. This guy in my stream that's trying to hit affiliates. I'm really yeah. back. <laughs> I'm really. Yeah. I'll cross you. Y'all can pass me. Let's go! Come on! Stop. Get out the oh. bottom of the net, chat. Ooh. Come on, man. I'm struggling right now. Do we wanna do we wanna break the streak up so I can change my uh jump shot speed? Yeah, hey. let me look at mine. Alright, bet. Hey yo, chat four for four like a motherfucking nugget meal, you hear me? Yo, chat, what's good with everybody, man? Um, I know that you guys have been probably watching a bunch of best jump shot videos whether you're a point guard whether you're a shooting guard whether you're a small forward power forward and even all my centers out there with that fast ass base and that ugly ass snap of the wrist i know that everybody is trying to figure out all the best dribble moves all the best dunks all of the best layup animations all of the best everything but i actually want to bring to light that truthfully people don't know what the best jump shot in nba 2k25 is just yet simply because we don't have all of the data everybody is usually going off of the last five 2ks that dropped and just giving you a bunch of different stuff to make you actually decide now today's video is going to be about me actually reviewing all of the jump shots that i've seen that actually make sense but we also have to go over your settings. We actually have to go over what type of build you made because all of that in the melting pot actually makes a true difference to what the best jump shot for you would be. So when it comes to choosing the best jump shot for you, there's a few things that you have to consider. The first thing that you have to consider is what type of build did you make? So my build is called a two-way three-level scoring threat. It is a shooting guard that is 6'7", kind of on the taller side, but doing that more for the defensive side, even though at shooting guard, that's not the normalcy. That's not the meta. So, of course, the build you're looking at is not a meta build, all right? But this build does have an 83 three-point shot and an 87 mid-range shot to help me get certain badges and different animations. Let's talk about something else you have to consider. A lot of people have been talking about the push, the release, the push, the release, the push, the release. So no matter if you choose jump, set point, push, or release, you have to change this every single time you change your jump shot and the reason that i'm saying this is if you decide that you have a jump shot and you love it on push push is the bread and butter for you you want to change all of your shot time and visual cues to push mainly because the customized jump shot is changed but all of the movings and the, the hop shots and everything like that you want to make sure that 
those look exactly the same too because your visual cue is what's going to help you in the long run so for all the people who play on release god i love y'all now let me tell you this little tidbit if you are playing on release that is the latest time that you can release a shot i'm not saying that these things won't be affected by shot contests but what i'm saying to you is if you decide to get one of the best jump shots on nba 2k25 and it's not working for you on push and you decide to go on release don't forget that you may have to choose a different shot speed as well because push and release this year are super super close close to the point where people who normally used to play on push last year are now playing on release because there's a slight difference in the two just a slight one let's talk about the shot time and profile for a minute now no matter if you play on high risk normal risk low risk god forbid you play on real player or difficulty based you will get the best bang for your buck if you play on high risk reward and i'm gonna tell you why if you have decided to say 2k give me a few whites i'll let those drop you are hindering yourself from a bigger green window if you played nba 2k24 and you were pretty good at the game and you made let's say four out of seven of your shots that means you already were playing on high risk and reward because it was green or die but if you decide in NBA 2K25, you don't have your badges, you don't have your, your highest rating yet, maybe you put it at 79, but it maxes out at 86, and you want to say to yourself, give me a couple days to learn my jump shot, I'm going to play on normal risk or low risk. You are hindering yourself from actually learning the jump shot because your green window is smaller and you are now banking on whites going in, and it doesn't make any sense. Now, difficulty base there hasn't been a lot of data given to difficulty base but there are some players out there that is playing on difficulty base mainly because a lot of them are playing like proven grounds or they're already inside of pro-am but if you're a park player or a theater player or a rec player difficulty base isn't that bad of an option but i will always say and i will stand by this until 2k25 is done and we are looking at 2k26 play on high risk and reward Pick a jump shot that works for you and make sure that you are getting the best green window possible so you can green and nobody can question it. Because guess what? In the next few months, everybody's going to have shot time and feedback on. So let's talk about shot time and feedback for a minute. All right. The way to change this is now in customized HUD. Whether you want to turn on your green animation, whether you want to turn on the shot time and feedback, all of that is now in the customized HUD. If you look at the screen, you can see we have the shot time and feedback. We have the marksman uh, takeover ability. We have the Gatorade symbol. We have the energy. We have the foam on fire. We have all, all of our adrenaline bars. This is what I will see even the player circle. This is what you will see on the court while you're playing the game. That means every player will have a different experience. For instance, for me, I have turned off the perfect release animation. Um, I feel like I wanted to take it back to the old school ways of NBA 2K early on, especially when we were in Approving Grounds um, for that, that little trailer that I dropped for y'all. Turning off the, the perfect release animation actually allows you to focus more on your cue while you're learning your jump shot okay because what will tend to happen is every time you release the ball you are going to be looking for your green animation now i'm going to turn it on for a moment every time you shoot you take your eyes off of the cue and you look at the basket to see if you greened it if you turn this off for at least the first week of the game you can actually focus on your shot cue i'm gonna tell you one time and one time only turn this feature on use this data to see how good you are in certain situations whether someone's closing out whether someone's jumping at you whether somebody's on your hip whether somebody backs off you two steps and you pull use the shot timing feedback and the reason for this is that when you start seeing other shots that other builds are making and you and that build have the same uh, shooting attributes you're going to start saying to yourself you can hit those shots 
And I tell you, 100%, you will be able to hit those shots. Because like you guys saw in the trailer, whether somebody was closing out, jumping at me, it didn't matter. I'm going to hit my shot because I'm locked in, okay? And you can be locked in too, all right? I'm not, I'm not saying that you can't be locked in. You could definitely be locked in. Now, it's time to get to the animation portion of this video. And I want to give a shout out to Swish DF, Tough NYC, and Cold the Man. Reason for this is because these guys were the people that I reached out to to watch their content on YouTube to figure out what would be the best jump shot for me and how I would move a few things around with their jump shot to make it work for me. Let's talk about Swish DF's jump shot for a minute, right? Now, I'm going to go ahead and equip it, and I'm actually going to show it to y'all, all right? Um, Terrium Prince is the base. We have Oscar Oscar, and we have this set on push we have the release speed on very quick and it's a 50 50 animation blending now let me tell you about this jump shot this jump shot is super fast to the point where it's so fast that if you are not playing on a one millisecond monitor if you are not plugged in via usb or USB C, and if you are not connected to ethernet you are going to have to pull this jump shot down too quick okay mainly because when you see that snap of the wrist do you guys see that that snap of the wrist is when it's almost time to let that mother sucker go now of course i can pull up to my court take a bunch of jump shots with this jump shot and 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 make you guys think that this is the mecca this is the one this is for you but no i want everybody that is watching this video to put on this jump shot Go check out Switch DF's YouTube video. And I want you to play with push. I want you to play with release. I want you to play with everything. I even want you guys to play with set point. Because if you notice, the smallest window is between jump and set point, which means they are the closest, okay? And also, set point to push is so far away, and release and push are so far away. That means that they are completely different from each other okay i'm gonna go ahead and just back out and not change this because i actually like using this in the wreck i'm gonna say it again i like using this in the wreck so i'm, I'm gonna i'm not gonna change anything to that all right let's talk about tough nyc's jump shot now i've been knowing tough nyc for a few years now we actually got to meet in person at an nba 2k league event that's the homie you know what i'm saying he's carried me i've carried him but let's talk about his poppers jump shot. Now, if you guys don't know the term popper, that means someone who likes to play park the most and that loves to shoot at the top of the key and at the top of the wing in the park. Not a corner sitter, but someone who loves to shoot at the top of the key off of a screen and that means that they are a set shot they're not moving they're not dribbling this is the poppers jump shot okay we have jared culver we have franz wagner and we have oscar robinson with a 70 30 blend to Fraz wagner and i'm going to tell you guys what i did to this jump shot i put this jump shot all the way on release this is not tough nyc's actual jump shot and how he made it because he made it for his eyes only i'm going to keep reiterating that when you make your jump shot it is for your eyes only you have to find your jump shot cue you have to find where it works and if it works for you so for me tough nyc's jump shot works perfectly if i put it all the way to release i put the release speed on quick not very quick because if i put this mother sucker on very quick look at that you gotta let it go when it hits your nostril see see it's for your eyes only i'm gonna keep saying it you have to release this shot on very quick when the ball gets to your nostril if it's on quick you can wait till the ball actually gets to your forehead to release it okay and the animation blend again is 70 30. now i'm not gonna touch that shot because again i like that shot when i'm popping not when I'm corner sitting, but when there's no one else on the court, I'm playing with a, a, a crazy big that can sit in the corner that's really a corner sitter, and I can run the screens. Because what I'm going to tell you guys about being a popper is 
Being a popper means you don't have much finishing to your build to start out in the first week of NBA 2K. You've maxed out mostly all of your defense, mostly all of your rebounding, mostly all of your strength, and all of your shooting. So your layup and your dunk is your last choice on what you wanted to put up. Now, I'm going to show you guys what I put up again with my attributes. I'm a 94 overall already, and it's only the, the second day of 2K that I've had it. I have a 87 driving dunk and a 67 driving layup. So for me, if I'm setting screens in which I have silver brick, brick wall, that means I can either cut to the basket or I can pop if I want to. So I really have that choice, and that's why I have Tufts jump shot for those reasons. Now, let's talk about the best jump shot for me. Cole the man, you've created a monster, okay? I'm going to go ahead and say that. Cole the man has created a monster. Jared Culver, Oscar Robinson, and Troy Brown Jr. This is the jump shot that I was using inside of the trailer footage of this video. And I'm going to tell you guys what I chose to put on for this visual cue. The visual cue is a few ticks above push. My release speed is very quick. And the animation blending is 7030 Oscar Robinson. Now, if you look at the release height, the release speed, the defensive immunity, you're like, oh my God. But of course, the, the time and stability, of course, as NBA 2K Lab and all of them get their stuff together and start actually looking at jump shots, we'll start having more jump shots that either has all A's, three A's and a B and stuff like that. But for right now, this is me. NBA 2K devs, please do not pass this jump shot. Please let us live. This is a monster of a jump shot for me. And I'm going to tell you all again. This is the last time I'm going to tell you. It's for your eyes only. This is not the exact setting that Cole the Man has. But his is just tweaked a little bit. But that just means that me and Cole the Man have similar visual cues that we like to look at you can also look at the feet when they kick out if you're not a wrist and elbow type of view cure okay if you can't see the visual cue from the wrists and the elbow then go ahead and look at those toes and that's up to you all right as an honorable mention i have been talking about this jump shot for years not not only to the point that I've been talking about it, but actual NBA commentators that are fans of NBA 2K have been talking about JT Thor. Every year, JT Thor is actually a good jump shot. Now, if you guys look at the release height, the release speed, defensive immunity, and time and stability against everyone else's jump shot, you will think, you know what? This one might not be the one. But I'm telling y'all right now, for people that have this jump shot on for your eyes only, if you come down and put JT Thor on quick, I'm telling y'all right now, this jump shot is beautiful. Not only to the point of the visual cue being really, really nice because you'll release the, the ball at the top of your forehead, but it just looks beautiful in the corner. And it also feels like a Kevin Durant swing of a jump shot we all know what kevin durant's jump shot is like and this is the poor man's kevin durant okay i'm just gonna go ahead and say it man this is the poor poor man's kevin durant not only will you be able to hit corner threes but it's a beautiful jump shot from the right wing and from the left wing because you will easily be able to see your cue from both sides all right now as far as shooting with this jump shot from the top of the key I'm going to tell you now, it's really hard to discern the ball in the top of your forehead. So if you're going to shoot this thing from straight on, it's not going to be wet like water like Cash Nasty say, all right? <laughs> I'm telling you all that right now. But again, that jump shot is for your eyes only. Now, before I get out of here, um, I just want to say thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday yesterday. Um, shout out to everybody who donated on Twitch, um, super chatted on YouTube, uh, became a member on YouTube became a subscriber on twitch shout out to everyone who gifted subs on twitch shout out to everybody who dropped donations of bits on twitch shout out to everybody who um subbed to me on instagram sub to me on twitter um shout out to everyone who uh follow me on tiktok uh shout out to everyone who uh threw birthday cake and other things like that 
uh, at me on Twitch with the extension from uh, Attack. So I, I just I just appreciate everybody, man. Um, I am now 37. Uh, I'm 37 years young. Uh, I've been doing 2K content since NBA 2K10, 2K11. And I can definitely say that as a content creator, it, it makes me happy to have a community. And I appreciate y'all with all my heart. Um, make sure before you leave, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on noties. And I will see y'all in the next one, man. Peace. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba, King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba, King Kong, King Kong.